Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 13 of Let's Play Suikoden. Alright, in between episodes, I did get Kiromimi's weapon to level 9. So now, instead of just being the sword, it's now the good sword. As if what I had was an okay sword, or a bad sword, or a mediocre sword, or... Hit or miss sword. Oh, we still need to appraise that painting. Kind of think of it, now that we actually got a certain party member, I believe it's this guy, Sansuke? You can actually go into the bathhouse. Alright, that pretty much narrows it down that Kiromimi is actually a guy. I didn't even bother to look it up, but the bathhouse just gives it away. You can actually place your antiques here now. So I got a Japanese dish. And you can choose a place for it. Here seems like a decent spot, I guess. The octopus urn. There we go. And the hex doll. Ron Hex doll, who was a former goalie of the Philadelphia Flyers. You can take the antiques away, too. Now, I don't know if you can place every single type of antique out there. But that's a little something you can do for kicks and giggles, I guess. I still find it very funny that I got Kiramimi to wear a fur cape because, you know, he's a kobold. Uh, maybe I can grab something from here that would be good to use. What would be good for him? Probably nothing. Let's see. Are we low on, like, medicine or maybe... Mega medicine? We are low on mega... Me bleh, mega medicine. Try saying that two times fast. Give it back to Victor. So now we got the extras. So now we need to drop some stuff. I suppose we'll drop the painting for now. We, that's right, we can't do that, because you need to have it appraised first. You know what the killer crystal can be deposited? Don't think we need two fire crystals, we'll just keep the one. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can actually get it upgraded from the guy in green. So let me go up to the top floor, because that's where the stone is now. Unfortunately, you can't switch any of your party members. You're pretty much locked in these particular six. Oh, we got home free now. That's pretty cool. Who else do we have that's new? Kirkus, well, we already had them. Sidonia, Varkus, Eileen, always had them. Moss, we got. Nice, Sergei, Sheena, Jubal, Viki. Meg, Giovanni, O'Neill, Kermimi, Kai, Antonio. Brock, Gaspar, Marie, Sansuke, Templeton, Kryn, and Chandler. Oh yeah, Kryn. Forgot we had him. So that's pretty much all we got for now. Alright, guess we'll have to head all the way back to the castle. Give me several minutes, I'll meet you back there. Alright, around 5 to 10 minutes later, we finally made it back to the castle. So let's do this. Oh, you guys were standing here the whole time? Damn. Alright, I guess I'll just charge on in. Of course it couldn't be, like, unguarded or anything. Devil armor. Let's dance. You don't even have legs. So we already have the edge. Beautiful. Good work, Victor. Feels weird that my main character is like fourth on the pecking order. A steel shield. Oh, well, you can equip shields, so here we go. That's better. This music is so suspenseful. Not gonna lie, it really fits the area. A Thunder Rune piece. 
Hmm. Looks like it's pretty easy just to get to, like, multiple spots in the castle. At once. It can't be that easy to get to the top, is it? Can't be. Got some medicine, okay. I think I offloaded some inventory space earlier. A gale crystal? That's new. I wonder what it does. Double speed! Huh. Speed is pretty good for certain times. Our veteran soldiers. They look a little different from the ones we fought before. Thank you for doing the spread so poorly. You only managed to kill one of them. I mean, that's what happens when you set it to free will. <laughs> you often get, like, uh, the minimal amount that you'll need. Old Book Volume 1. Oh. We can't immediately use it. Really? We didn't even take that many steps. Wait a minute, are we back here? Well, this leads to nothing. Oh! There are some new enemies. Devil Shield. What the hell is a Devil Shield? Whatever the case, we'll definitely need to beat it as fast as possible. Luckily, it doesn't have too much HP. What? It just blocked off the attack completely. But it only did that for one attack. Oh, Kuramimi's down. Damn. So that one attack there from the shield can hit everybody. So we can see why it's an immediate threat. Well, that sucks he's stuck at level 26 because of that. Seems a bit overkill, but also necessary. Ooh, we can go in here too, but that is nothing. Here is some treasure. Half armor! Who could use that? Absolutely nobody! Like, this is a party that's mandatory to bring, and yet nobody can equip that. What is the point? It makes little to no sense. Okay, it didn't block Kermimi's attack that time. That's good. That devil shield seems like it puts up a fight. Wait, is this the way out? Oh, it just went back out. Okay, from the looks of things, this castle loops around quite a bit. That's pretty neat, I guess. But at the same time, a little confusing. Oh, I just went through here again. Now, when I went through this way, yeah, at least a treasure. I'm trying to think, like, how did I get to this room the first time? I'm trying to remember what side. Oh, we're closing in on a level up. No, it's down here. Now I remember. Okay, that's just a balcony. That does nothing for us. Come on! We're not even moving that far. I'm stuck in fights again. 
wait a minute. Come on! Can I do anything in context without getting in a fight? It's almost as if the Empire is in here. Oh, wait. Shall we rest? Wait. This is where you can go to rest? Oh, now we're back at the beginning. Okay. Oh. Aha. Okay, let me retrace my steps. The reason why I'm looking to do that... Oh. I thought there'd be treasure over there on that side of the wall, but there isn't any. Man, I wish I found that earlier! <laughs> So I guess the only way we can go that's different is up. This is the main part. Oh, what, 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 huh? Dragon! We gotta fight a freaking dragon? Ugh, I can only use deadly fingertips. That's stupid. Alright, let's try the shredding. I think magic might be our meal ticket against a dragon. Oh, is it ever? That could have closed in on a thousand. That was a good opening round. Oh, thank God that did so little. Good thing we have enough room for one more spell. I also have Healing Wind, too. That can get somebody out of a bind, because I think it only heals for one party member. It's doing that attack again! Okay, HP is definitely not going to be a sore spot. <laughs> I'll say that much. Now let's go to town on it. I wonder how many more rounds it's going to take. Because we did well over 1600 in magic alone. Just from one guy. So I think we're in a good position to win. Wait, no, what, no, what? I almost got my turn order mixed, messed up. Oh, Healing Wind, I... Okay, uh, we'll have to select Gremio for this one. Victor would have also been a second choice. How much does Healing Wind do? Not that much. Then again, that might have been all we needed. It's just doing the same attack. It hasn't once done anything new. Okay, I can't get complacent, because what if it changes its routine at the worst time? We certainly can't have that. Like, what if it tries a new attack? That somehow does exactly the amount of HP we lost. Oh, never mind, the dragon's dead. Ooh, nice. Level ups galore. And the bits. <laughs> can't go wrong with that. Is there another room over here? No. Just a chair right in the corner. Why is that? Nah. No. <laughs> 
Oh, there's the mirror. Are you the leader of the Liberation Army? You look familiar. Teo's son. I've heard rumors, but... Teo's boy a rebel leader, eh? Don't expect me to pull punches. They once called me Kwanda the Insurmountable. And I shall again become the wall that protects Emperor Barbarossa. So come, Liberators. See my strength. See the power of the Black Rune that Lady Windy has given me. For the Empire, and for His Majesty the Emperor, I won't let you proceed. Victory is near. I strike with all my might. Okay. Oh, this is another one of those rock, paper, scissors things. I have to choose to attack, defend, or do a desperate attack. And usually what he says could be a cue. Attacking with all his might could give me an idea that he's about to do a desperate attack. So, here's the cue. Attack can beat defend, defend can beat desperate, and desperate beats attack. So I need to defend. Yeah, see? By doing it this way, I'll be able to counter. Impossible! You can't avoid my blows! You can't avoid my blow, so he's going to do an attack. So let me do a desperate move. Oh, we both did desperate! What? No! Hmm, he's going to defense. Let's try a desperate attack again. Yep, see? Oh, wait, I got it the opposite right. Forget it! You are methods are obvious. Huh? I'll just attack as well. Oops. Well, that's still enough. I think I won. Well done. That you should destroy my defenses. So yeah, there's three kinds of battles you can have. Your standard turn-based battles, your uh, tactical battles, which are like, you know, entire armies, and there's one-on-one -on -one duels. Impossible! It's Lady Windy's Black Rune! But I didn't even use it. You messed everyone up! You fixed them! Kobold? Why are you still sane? The Black Rune. Ah! My arm! Ah! What's going on? I'm not sure. Something to do with a black rune, I think he said. Arrgh! What happened? Prepare to die! Time for revenge! Elf, Kobold, I see. Do what you must. You have the right, I believe. Wait a minute! Something's wrong! Are you Commander Bongo of the Liberation Army? Please go ahead and take my head. I'll die like a soldier. Something's wrong. I'm gonna spare him. What are you waiting for? Lop off his head! I'm impatient! Why did you suddenly... That's right! You're not the same person you were a moment ago. You, you wanted him dead earlier. Now you change your mind? It's this. The burnt rune. Rune? This was the black rune. It was given to me by Lady Windy. Gave me power over monsters. But it also began to affect my willpower. Windy cannot be trusted. Does the Emperor know? But whatever I say now is irrelevant. After what I have done, my only remaining fate is to die like a soldier. I want you to join us. Me? Join you? <laughs> Me join the Liberation Army? 
I served Emperor Barbarossa for 10 years! And you asked me to be a traitor? That's right. The Emperor is a different man from the one you knew seven years ago. But he served him for 10 years! Perhaps the Emperor I knew and trusted disappeared years ago. Commander Banga, let me join your army! My loyalty for Emperor Barbarossa remains firm. But I cannot serve the present Emperor, whoever he may be. Congratulations, Commander Banga. Our first battle was a great success. Kuramimi! Oh, Mommy? Kuramimi. Brother! It looks like their spell is broken. Thank you, Master Bonga. What will you do now? The village is gone. And perhaps my war is not over yet. At least not until your war is over, Master Bonga. Please let me join the Liberation Army. Me too. And me as well. Not Sylvina. It could be dangerous. No. I'm staying with you forever, Kirkus. I'll join too. Kira made me fight. Everybody fix. But country's still sickness. I too have no place to return to. To prevent this tragedy from repeating itself, let me fight too. Commander Banga, this battle has made you a man. So many people are willing to join you. Now let's get back to Bouncy Castle. Uh, let's see. Wait, I have some unfinished business. I understand. We'll go on ahead. Alright, well I guess I'll just walk manually. And the reason why I need to do that is because we can recruit even more people. But first, let's go back to the uh, burnt village of elves so we can save. It still feels weird for Kuramimi to fight kobolds. Like, they're his own people! It's still very unsettling. Damn, Victor still gets wrecked by magic. Let's take a look at our money. Like, we should be in a very good position to update ourselves moving forward. 115,865 bits. Yeah, we're not going to be suffering. Alright, let's save, because that was a decent experience getting through that castle. It was very weird, because it didn't seem like a huge dungeon, but rather, like... It was all connected to it since that. All connected to itself. Like you could easily get around it, and there was more than one way to get to where you need to go. That means the Cobalt Village should be back to normal, right? I am a once proud Cobalt Warrior, but for once I must thank you. We Cobalts thank you. Okay, well, you're welcome, I guess. Hi, you're a different color. Big brother Kuramimi? How have you been? Well, if it isn't gone! Kuramimi is fine, working hard in the Liberation Army. You're looking great, big brother. I want to be like you. Sure, you want to join us? Gone! I have good news. Master Bonga says you're welcome to join the Liberation Army. Hooray! Yay, we got another doggo. Good stuff. Good stuff. You know, we haven't even gotten to the end. Let's check that out. Ha ha ha! I'm Fusulu, and I'm strong as 100 men. When I swing my axe, the very earth shivers. And when I shout, Lake Toran turns upside down. You want to join us? You seem pretty strong. The Liberation Army? Only if you agree to feed me. 10,000 bits? That's a lot of bits. 
Well, I have a hundred thousand plus, so here you go. It's pocket change. Ha ha! You're a generous one! Don't worry, I'll work plenty for my meals. Who the hell is this guy? He looks unique. You're Ruby! Huh? Oh, it's Kirkus. What are you doing with humans? I'm in the Liberation Army now, but not to avenge myself for having my village taken away. There are many, both humans and elves, suffering because of the Imperial Army. I want to help them. I couldn't care less. Be on your way. What do you know, anyway? You're just a little runt. Wow. Rude. 30 bits per creature? That sounds like a steal. Alright, let's save. Um, let's see. I wonder if we're strong enough to actually get Lorelei recruited. She's been waiting for us to get really strong. And I feel that now, we're having our first major battle and our first duel. Perhaps we're strong enough now. Okay, well that's the wares. Anytime you get to see the wares in a shop, it will update in the shop at the base. So that's usually a good idea. Alright, so we should probably go to Koan now. To see if Lorelei is on our side. So why don't you just give me a brief moment. Alright, that was a measly two minutes, so now let's go see Lorelei. Alright, we tough enough? Let me see. Hmm. Alright, you look pretty tough. I'll join. Well, that was easy. I guess we had to get past that battle with, uh, Quanda Rosman. And then she'll be able to join us. Alright, so before we head for Bouncy Castle, there's actually one more character we can recruit, and that's all the way back in Seika. So we have to go back there now. I mean, luckily it's not very far. God, we're almost at level 30. And this is only, what, the 12th episode? No, it's the 13th episode of this Let's Play. So, we're putting in a lot of work. Then again, this game just allows you to level up so liberally. But anytime you know that you're well leveled for where you are, you're always gonna get like 5 experience per fight no matter what it is. Even if it's something supremely weak, and will die from a hiccup, 5 experience. So if you need to grind, don't grind against the tough enemies, grind against the weak ones. If they're always going to give you 5 experience... I... You're the one who took Master Matthew away, aren't you? You can't fool me. He was saying, I've had it with wars, and yet you forced him to follow you. Because Matthew wanted to. This is not just another war. Um... Liar! That's impossible! Just forget it, I'll ask him myself. Where is Master Matthew? Bouncy? You mean the castle on Lake Torren? You'd better not be lying! This person's name is Apple? What a name. <laughs> wow. Hope your last name is Core, because that would be hilarious. Okay, so now it's time to head back to the castle. Finally! We've been away for quite a while. And I think now we're at the point of the game where we actually can change our party again. And it's about damn time. It sucked having to be locked into a specific six-person party. With no way to switch out or anything. Must you do this? Okay, one more space to the left. One more space to the left. No. The left. The left. Go left. Okay, down. You know what? That works too. Okay, you got me. I, I kind of wish they actually thought that through before they decided 
Hey, it'll be a great place to spawn an NPC. Right on a one-way road. Three months after defeating Quanda Rosman's army. Oh, okay. I guess it's just me now. Oh, young master! What happened? Nothing. It's been three months and I just stayed here the whole time. I did absolutely nothing. I didn't even go to pee. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Did they all just say the exact same thing, no matter what? Really? Hmm, I should probably go down to the third floor. What's going on? Anyway, this is probably gonna look more rounded out now. Yeah, Kwanda's on our side. That's awesome. That could be a great boon for us. Stallion's on our side. Selvina, I believe, is here too. Lorelai's there, I forgot about that. Alright, Apple. Oh yeah, Apple. Gone. Quinn, Gaspar, Selvina, there it is. Wait, where did Fusu Lu go? What page is that on? Um, I don't see it yet. Ah, there it is. It was under Stallion the whole time. So if I want to bring in the Furry Brigade, I could do that. <laughs> it would only be three, though. Your dream is to map the entire world. What a dream. Hope you can pull it off. I suppose Master Matthew is right, as he is about everything. But I still can't forgive you. What? Are you saying he's not a man of free will? Why isn't Odessa here? This is the new Liberation Army's headquarters, right? After our hideout was attacked, I managed to round up the scattered remains of the army. And we finally found our way here, to this mystery. What the hell is going on? Hey you! You're Bonga, right? Where's Odessa? Why doesn't she greet us? Because... You're Flick, right? Hey! Who is this guy? I'm Matthew Silverberg, Odessa's brother. I'm now the Liberation Army's chief military strategist. Odessa's brother? So where is she? She's here, isn't she? In our hearts. Or, oh yeah, she's dead. Matthew! What do you mean? I heard she was missing. Well, her body is. Commander Bonga, may I tell him? But Odessa's last request. Odessa made her last request to keep the Liberation Army from falling apart. But now that it has been rebuilt, it's time to tell the truth. What are you hiding from me? What do you mean Odessa's dead? Answer me, Bonga! We can't keep this a secret forever. Many are already suspicious. Odessa was killed when the hideout at Lennon Camp was attacked. What? Victor! What happened? You were protecting her! Forgive me, Flick. Forgive me. Odessa was thinking of the future of the Liberation Army right until her last breath. I see. I suppose Bonga took over the leadership. Correct. You must be kidding! Humphrey! Sanchez! Are you gonna let them get away with this? How can this kid follow after Odessa? We need a leader, and Bonga is doing well. Flick, please calm down. Didn't you come here for a reason? Yeah, for a reason. To be shared with Odessa! Not you, Bonga! Humphrey, Sanchez! I'll be staying at the Anakaku. If you change your minds, come and join me. You guys don't want to be with these scum, do you? Master Bonga, Flick is in shock after hearing about Lady Odessa. He's not usually like that. Yeah, Humphrey doesn't usually talk either. I must have a good long talk with Flick. After all, he was Vice Commander of the Liberation Army. You're right. 
We need all the help we can get. Ah, oh, Victor joins. Click in the survivors, the old Liberation Army. If we can get them to join us. Odessa! Not that time the hideout was attacked? Impossible! Odessa. Alright, well, I guess we have to go all the way back to Kaku and uh, convince Flick to join us. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a shot. But in the meantime, we should definitely save our game. Unfortunately, I have to go all the way back to the end for that. And hard to believe that even through all this, we still don't have an armory here. Or an armor shop. We got an inn. We have an item shop. We don't have an ar armor shop. We haven't had a place to gamble for money. We don't have a rune shop. We don't have an appraiser. So we still got a lot of work to do. I think it's a good time to save. And we're going to stop the video right here. Next episode, we got to have a good old talk with Flick. See everybody. Thanks for watching.